special family welcome back to another video reddit edition am i the a-hole for unintentionally punishing my autistic stepdaughter i 31 male have two children with my ex-wife megan 31 female our children are parker 15 male and Ryder 13 male my current wife lola 29 female has a daughter ali 10 female from her previous marriage we also have three kids together, twins, five month and a 10 month old daughter. Megan and I have joint custody and we switch the kids every week. This week is my week with the boys. When I went to go pick up the kids for the week, the boys were arguing with each other in the kitchen. Megan said that the boys had got into a really heated argument and that she prayed for me this week. The car ride home was not fun. I was just driving with the two bickering at each other. I asked the boys what happened once we got home. I asked Parker first and he said he didn't want to talk about it. I tried to get him to speak, but he wouldn't budge. When I spoke to Ryden, it was obvious why he didn't want to. The boys are very economically privileged. Ryden has a girlfriend. She is also well off. His girlfriend loves to read. Ryden has never been a big reader. He wanted to read more to impress her. He asked his girlfriend for advice on how to find books he'd like. She suggested baseball related books as Ryder's life revolves around baseball. A few months back, Ryden was reading a book about baseball. It was a fiction book and the boy had baseball help lift him out of poverty or something. Ryden then became interested in helping out poorer kids who may not be able to play sports. Ryden has volunteered with an organization in the past few months that focus on this, and he sometimes attend games for other kids. As one may expect, if you live in the U.S., these games disproportionately have kids of color. Over the past few months, Ryden has made some friends by going to games. Ryden was on FaceTime with one of these boys who is black. They were talking, and after they hung up, Megan was talking to him about the boy in the living room. This is when Parker's came in. Parker made some extremely disgusting remarks, stuff like blaming black people for their poverty. And he used the N word in his friend, including against Ryden's friend. When I heard about this, I immediately told Parker that I knew what happened. I told him to give me his devices and that he wouldn't be allowed to use devices in my house for the foreseeable future. When I told Lola about this grounding so she was able to enforce it, she paused and told me she was worried for Allie. This is because Allie and Parker have very similar interests. Both of them are nerdy kids and huge gamers. They play games like Fortnite together. Allie is also autistic and Parker has been teaching her socializing skills. She said that this punishment is unintentionally punishing Allie too by not letting her game with Parker and that I should just drop it and give him a warning. I'm not usually a strict parent like this and I wonder if I'm in the wrong. Am I the a-hole? Oh, that's interesting. Personally, I don't think you're the a-hole because we can't blame everything on autism. If there's a lesson to be learned, that lesson has to be learned. If there's punishment to be given, punishment has to be given. Because you're not always going to be around when your son is in the real world and he says something that's out of pocket that comes with consequences. But let's see what the commenters have to say. Olsen Cardinal says, not the a-hole. Ali's relationship with Parker should not be an impediment to the punishment you apply. This happens. Lots of kids' friends are disappointed and inconvenienced when their friends lose screen or FaceTime. This type of punishment. I really don't think you should undo your punishment over that. They can and should find other activities during the temporary period of this punishment. Also, you have not taken screens from Ali, only her ability to game with Parker. Correct. I agree. Stardust Shina says, not the a-hole, and Lola needs to step back and really think about the bigger picture. This is a great time for her to teach Ali that Parker engaging in racism leads to problems not only for the speaker, but everyone around them. Nice one, Stardust. Also, Lola is way out of line implying video games are more important than your son not being a bigot. Do you want him to grow up and get into even worse problems later because this problem wasn't sorted out now? Go question Stardust. Canter Circle says, Allie can still game. It's unfortunate that she can't game with Parker right now, but Parker doesn't get out of his punishment just because it's inconvenient for Allie. 
And if you do let him out of his punishment, I guarantee you he will pull even more shit because you just handed him a out of get out of jail free card, not the A, right? Cart Linwich says, not the A. Lola thinks an appropriate response is disgusting racist bigotry is a warning. I'm sorry, but I'd be worried Lola secretly agrees with Parker's view. There is no world where a kind and rational adult would be more concerned about Ali's ability to play FM video games. If anything, I would be worried that Parker would spew his racist hate during the game in front of Ali. I've heard how certain gamers speak and it can get intense. Due to her autism, she might not understand that what he is saying is wrong and completely disgusting. Nip this in the butt right now. I'm sick of people raising races that the rest of us would have to deal with in the future. In fact, no video game is not enough. Why do you think that no video games is going to correct its effed up views? You need to be doing way more as a parent because the child you raise is going to become a mean adult if he stay on this path. Do your job. Oh, this one wasn't playing. Okay, Satellite Beach says, not the A. Do what? It's great that your son is teaching her socialization skills, but given her racial tirade, I have to wonder exactly what he's teaching her. Also, he doesn't get a free pass because he's being helpful to somebody else. Ultimately, his friend Ali isn't his or your responsibility. He was way out of line and deserved what he got. Ali's needs really don't factor into this at all. Mountain Midnight responded, Ali is Parker's stepsister and Opie's stepdaughter. So, um, yes, she is to some degree Opie's responsibility. She is the responsibility, but she's not part of the punishment. They just have to find another way to play with each other or to learn how to socialize. Fun Milk says, his punishment should absolutely not be lifted after what he said. It's probably best for Ali to take a break from him if that's how he speaks too. Okay, 10 Sandoval says, not the A. Ali should not be relying solely on Parker for her socialization skill. That's not fair to either Ali or Parker. It's great if Parker is willing to help her when he can, but as he's a child, it needs to be a when he can thing. Not something Ali is relying on because Parker needs his freedom to put his life first and stop gaming with Ali if he ever needs to put his focus elsewhere or he can't game for whatever reason. Example, because he's being punished. This should be a wake-up call to Lola that Ali is depending on Parker being available to game with her too much. And she needs to look into other ways to get Ali the support she needs so that this isn't interfering with Parker's ability to be a kid. And an essential part of being a kid is making mistakes, receiving punishment, and learning from the experience. I like that, Tan. Next commenter says, not the A. I think they can find ways to socialize together. While Parker is learning his lesson on speaking so poorly about other people, being grounded also isn't, isn't a permanent thing. I think that your child being punished for a nasty remark is a very serious lesson for him to learn. Giving him back his luxuries for the sake of his sibling seems a bit of let off. I'll hold your ground, OP. Let me know what you think about this. Was the dad right? I personally think he's right in punishing his son. And I personally think they need to find other ways to play. And she shouldn't be depending on Parker to make it through the day. There are other things she can cope with. So let me know in the comment section what you think and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.